There's a palace that's home to a king and his beautiful queen. But they don't live alone in that castle of stone. There are quite a few more to be seen. Two royal children, a prince and princess, give a helping hand to the queen. While the king has three pets, they're the strangest you've met. Three dragons, all scaly and green. To visit this palace, we don't have to go through woods or along rocky paths. There's a much quicker way, we just have to say, let's go. Hello. Let's find out which number we'll be talking about today. There's one prince, one princess, one king, one queen, and they all live in one big castle. So, the number we'll be talking about today is the number one. a teddy bear sitting on my shelf there are no other toys with him he's all by himself he's got one eye and got one ear he's almost lost his hair but I still love to play with him my one little teddy bear one little teddy bear yes just one sitting over there can you see him on his own, my one little teddy bear? I once had three teddy bears when I was two years old. One was blue and one was white and one was brown and gold. I left the blue one on a bus, the white one had a tear. But I still have the other one, my one little teddy bear. One little teddy bear, yes, just one, sitting over there. Can you see him on his own, my one little teddy bear? Perhaps you've got an old teddy bear or another favourite toy. Something which may be old, but which is so special that you couldn't bear to part with it. But I don't think somehow that the king who lives in the castle would have anything like that, because he doesn't seem to be happy with anything for very long, as you'll hear in today's story. It's called the King's New Crown. In a palace lived a king, a queen, and their two children, a prince and a princess. One day, the king looked at his crown and said, I don't like my crown anymore. The prince and the princess were surprised. The queen looked very surprised. But what's wrong with it, she asked. It's a beautiful crown. The king sighed. I'd like a new crown, one that's much bigger. That's what I'd really like. The king sent for the royal crown maker. I want the biggest crown that you can make, he ordered. Yes, your majesty, said the crown maker with a bow. One big crown, I shall bring it at once. Soon, the crown maker returned. He was carrying a very big crown on a red velvet cushion. It was so big that he could hardly carry it in. One big crown, your majesty, he announced. The king put the crown on his head and went for a walk around the palace. How do you like this? he asked the prince and the princess. One big crown, just as I ordered. Isn't it beautiful? The prince and the princess stared at the king's new crown. Isn't it a bit too, um, the prince began, but before he could finish what he was going to say, the crown slipped to one side. The prince and the princess began to smile. This crown's no good, the king grumbled crossly. It's much too big. Just then, the crown slipped right down over the king's head. He sent for the royal crown maker again. How dare you make me such a silly crown, the king roared. This one is much too big. Bring me a smaller crown. Yes, your majesty, said the crown maker. One small crown. I shall bring it at once. Soon the crown maker returned. He was carrying a very small crown on a blue velvet cushion. One small crown, your majesty, he announced. The king put the crown on his head and went for a walk around the palace gardens. 
This one is much better, he said to the prince and princess. One small crown, how do you like it? The prince and princess gazed at the king's new crown. Isn't it a bit too, um, the princess began, but before she could finish what she was going to say, the crown fell right off the king's head and rolled onto the grass. The prince and princess began to giggle. This crown's no good, the king grumbled crossly. It's much too small. The king was cross and grumpy and sad. He was so cross that nobody dared speak to him. And he was so grumpy that he didn't even eat his lunch, which was very unusual. And he was so sad that he just sat on his throne and stared at the new crowns. One was too big, he muttered. I knew it was, said the prince. That's what I was going to say. The king glared at him. And one was too small, he grumbled. I knew it was, said the princess. That was what I was going to tell you. Everyone felt sorry for the king, but what could they do to help him? Suddenly, the queen began to smile. She whispered to the prince and princess, and they began to smile too. Hush, the queen said. You mustn't tell the king. The queen sent a message to the royal crown maker. Then she turned to the king. I have sent for a crown, she told him. You will like this one. The crown maker brought in a crown on a gold velvet cushion. It's not very big, the king complained. But it's not too small either, the queen pointed out. Well, I don't think I'm going to like it at all, said the king. Nevertheless, he agreed to try it on. It's just right, he shouted in surprise, and his face became one big smile. Hurrah! It's just right. It's not too big and it's not too small. At last I have a new crown that I really like. The queen and the prince and the princess all began to laugh. That's not a new crown, they told him. It's your old one. But the king didn't care. His old crown was the one crown that he liked best of all. And in the end, he laughed too. So the king liked his old crown best of all, didn't he? Here is the king. One king. But the king isn't the only person who lives in the castle. Let's have a look at some of the others who live there as well. Here is the queen. One queen. And one, more than one, is two. Two children, the prince and princess. And one, more than two, is three. Three dragons. And one, more than three, is four. Four cooks. And one, more than four, is five. Five kittens. And one more than five is six. Six horses. And one more than six is seven. Seven drummers. And one more than seven is eight. Eight soldiers. And one more than eight is nine. Nine ducks. And they all live together in one big castle. One castle. And we'll be seeing a lot more of the king and the queen, the prince and the princess and their funny friends and pets over the coming weeks. So till next time, bye for now. Four cooks and their cookery books And to five little kittens Meow Goodbye to six horses Seven drummers too Eight soldiers and guard by the path Goodbye to nine ducks Till again